Right now, as you're reading this, something silent is happening inside your body. Your blood sugar is spiking, crashing, spiking again. Most people have no idea this is happening. 589 million people worldwide are living with diabetes. Another 635 million have pre-diabetes. That's over 1.2 billion people, and most don't even know they're at risk. The scary part? These invisible blood sugar roller coasters are aging you faster, clouding your brain, and setting you up for serious diseases. But here's what doctors aren't telling you. There's a simple drink, costs less than a dollar, that research from major universities proves can reduce deadly blood sugar spikes by 30%. No prescription needed, no expensive supplements, just one ingredient you probably have in your kitchen right now. I've spent years researching health solutions for people over 40 who want to live longer without medications. Before we get into these life-changing strategies, I need you to do something. Drop a comment right now telling me where you're watching from. Whether you're in Mumbai, New York, Dubai, or London, this information applies to you. Hit that like button and share this with someone you care about. Someone's parent, friend, or spouse needs to see this today. Today, we're examining the work of Jesse and Shaspe a biochemist known worldwide as the Glucose Goddess. Her New York Times bestselling books, Glucose Revolution and The Glucose Goddess Method, have sold millions of copies in over 40 countries because she's done something remarkable. She's translated complex blood sugar science into simple strategies anyone can use. The research is clear. Studies from institutions like the University of Houston, while Cornell Medical College, and published in journals like Diabetes Care, show these methods work. We're talking about peer-reviewed science, not internet myths. Your blood sugar comes from two main sources, starches and sugars. Starches are foods like bread, rice, pasta, potatoes, and oats. Sugars are in candy, soda, and hidden in many healthy foods. When you eat too many at once, glucose floods your bloodstream. Think of it like a highway during rush hour. Everything backs up and damage starts occurring. Most people think they're safe if they don't have diabetes. That's the dangerous assumption. Research shows up to 80% of the population experiences significant glucose spikes throughout the day. Your doctor might say you're fine, but these hidden spikes are silently destroying your health. Here's what happens during each spike. First, your energy factories burn out. Inside every cell, you have tiny power plants called mitochondria. These produce the energy you need for everything, thinking, moving, breathing, healing. But repeated glucose spikes overwhelm these power plants through oxidative stress and inflammation. Imagine a factory forced to run at maximum capacity without breaks. Eventually, the machinery breaks down. The result? Chronic fatigue, brain fog, that crushing 2 p.m. exhaustion even after eight hours of sleep. Second, your body cooks from inside. Scientists call this glycation. From birth, your body slowly browns like meat in a pan. Every glucose spike accelerates this cooking process. Glucose molecules bind to proteins, creating harmful compounds called AGEs, advanced glycation end products. You see glycation on your face, wrinkles, age spots, sagging skin, but the real damage happens inside. Your heart tissue stiffens, blood vessels lose flexibility, brain tissue deteriorates. When glycation completes throughout your body, life ends. Every spike ages you faster. Third, the insulin trap. When glucose floods in, your pancreas releases insulin to store it away. First in your liver and muscles, but those fill up fast. Where does excess go? Your fat cells. This is how people gain stubborn belly fat. Over time, cells become numb to insulin signals, insulin resistance. Your pancreas produces more insulin, but it's less effective. You now have both high glucose and high insulin, a toxic combination leading to type 2 diabetes, 
fatty liver disease, heart disease, and dementia. Let me share the studies that should concern everyone over 40. Your brain slows down. Research on rats showed that frequent glucose spikes slowed the electrical signals between brain cells. The brain literally processed information more slowly. Scientists believe this explains brain fog in humans, that feeling when your thoughts move through thick mud. Alzheimer's risk starts now. A 30-year study following thousands of people found that elevated glucose levels in your 40s significantly increased Alzheimer's risk in your 60s, 70s, and 80s. Some scientists now call Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes, diabetes of the brain. The inflammation and damage look identical. Fertility effects. Studies show that higher insulin resistance correlates with higher rates of infertility, your blood sugar today affects your reproductive health tomorrow. Now that you understand the stakes, let's talk solutions. Hack number one, the vinegar solution. Here's the simplest, cheapest, most powerful strategy. One tablespoon of vinegar in a large glass of water before your biggest meal. Research published in Clinical Nutrition and Diabetes Care shows vinegar contains acetic acid that changes how your body processes food. The acetic acid slows down how quickly food breaks down into glucose molecules, like putting a speed governor on your blood sugar response. Multiple studies demonstrate this drink can reduce your meal's glucose spite by up to 30% and insulin response by 20%. That's massive reduction in the three types of damage we discussed. How to do it? One tablespoon of any vinegar, apple cider, red wine, white, rice vinegar, all contain acetic acid. Mix in a tall glass of water, at least 12 ounces, to protect teeth and throat. Drink 10 to 15 minutes before your largest meal. Start with one meal daily, most choose dinner. Can increase to lunch and dinner if desired. Critical warnings, never drink vinegar straight. The acid damages tooth enamel and irritates your throat. Always dilute properly. Ignore vinegar gummies. Most brands add two to three grams of sugar per gummy to mask the taste. That sugar cancels the blood sugar benefit. You're eating candy that contains vinegar, worst of both worlds. Can't stand the taste? Use it as salad dressing with olive oil before your meal or add to marinades. But the drink method works best because you consume it before food enters your system. Next, hack number two, savory breakfast revolution. Your first meal sets your blood sugar pattern for the entire day. Start with a spike and you'll crave sugar all day. Start steady and you'll feel satisfied for hours. Build breakfast around protein, eggs, fish, nuts, Greek yogurt, or last night's leftovers. Add healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, or butter. Include vegetables if desired. The rule, no sweet foods at breakfast. No fruit juice, jam, sweetened cereals, or sweetened yogurt. You can enjoy these later, but breakfast must be savory. Examples, scrambled eggs with spinach and avocado, smoked salmon with vegetables, Greek yogurt with nuts and a few berries. Even dinner leftovers work. A proper savory breakfast keeps you satisfied for four hours. If you're hungry in 90 minutes, you built it wrong. Next, hack number three, vegetables first. Eat vegetables at the start of every meal. Sounds simple, but the science is remarkable. Vegetables contain fiber that creates a protective mesh along your intestinal wall. When glucose arrives from the rest of your meal, this fiber barrier slows absorption into your bloodstream. Studies from Weill Cornell Medical College and published in Diabetes Care show that eating vegetables first, then protein and fats, then carbohydrates last, can reduce glucose spikes by 29 to 75 percent compared to eating in reverse order. Same food, same quantity, just different sequence. Practically, start lunch or dinner with a side salad, steamed broccoli, or any vegetable. Give yourself five to 10 minutes with that. Then eat normally. Works at home or restaurants. Next, hack number four. Never eat carbs alone. 
Never eat starches or sugars by themselves. Always pair them with protein, fat, or fiber. Instead of bread alone, have bread with avocado or cheese. Instead of pasta alone, have pasta with vegetables and olive oil. Instead of rice alone, have rice with beans, chicken, and salad. The protein, fat, and fiber slow how quickly carbohydrates convert to glucose. It's the difference between a dangerous spike and a gentle rise. This gives you freedom. You don't eliminate carbs, you just eat them strategically. Next, hack number five, move after eating. Use your muscles for 10 minutes after meals. No gym required, just move. When you contract muscles, they absorb glucose from your bloodstream for energy. You're literally pulling glucose out of circulation. Research from the University of Houston shows the soleus muscle in your calf is exceptionally good at glucose absorption. You can do calf raises sitting at your desk. Keep feet flat, raise heels so only toes touch the ground, lower, repeat. Studies show 10 minutes of walking or movement after meals reduces glucose spikes by approximately 30%. Combine this with vinegar for even better results. Oats and oat milk. Oats are pure starch, long chains of glucose molecules. Plain oatmeal for breakfast causes a significant spike. Oat milk is worse. It's pulverized oats in liquid form, essentially drinking liquid starch. Solution, if you eat oats, Add protein powder, nut butter, or eggs, or switch to almond milk or coconut milk instead of oat milk. Modern fruit. Humans have bred fruit for thousands of years to be sweeter with less fiber. An ancestral banana was tiny, full of seeds, barely sweet. Modern bananas are like candy. Solution. Eat fruit whole only, never juiced, dried, or blended. Berries are best, strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Limit tropical fruits and grapes, which are very high in sugar. Pair fruit with cheese or Greek yogurt to reduce the spike. Honey. One teaspoon of honey contains about the same antioxidants as half a blueberry. You eat honey because it tastes good, not because it's beneficial. From your body's perspective, honey and sugar are nearly identical. You now have five research-backed strategies to reduce glucose spikes. One tablespoon vinegar and water before your largest meal. Savory breakfast built around protein. Start every meal with vegetables. Never eat carbs alone. Pair with protein, fat, or fiber. Move for 10 minutes after eating. And three foods to approach differently. Oats and oat milk, most fruits, and honey. These aren't extreme changes. You're working with your biology, not against it. The mitochondrial damage, the glycation, the insulin resistance, these are happening right now. But you can stop it today with simple, inexpensive strategies. If you're over 40 and want to protect your brain, heart, and energy, start with one hack. Pick the easiest. Try it one week. Notice the difference in energy, cravings, and mental clarity. Then add another. Your body sends signals, exhaustion, cravings, brain fog. You now know how to respond. If this helped, hit like so others find it. Comment yes if you'll try one hack this week. Share with someone who needs this. Your health isn't just genetics. Daily choices matter more than you've been told. Take control. Your future self will thank you.